Hello, Randy Rain here, and check this out. I have a sharper image fighting robots from 2020. What gives? Well, I'll show you. This is Randy Robot Garage. So yeah, I usually do vintage robots, but there's a reason I have these because I got this for a dollar plus shipping, and shipping was like ten dollars and some change. I don't know. But yeah, it's like after tax, it's like $13 for this. Couldn't pass it up. Never been used, never been opened, and it's from 2020. I have other sharper image robots that fight. They've been making fighting robots for quite some time now, and I have two other versions. And I can see that this version is very different than the other ones. The other two are kind of the same. They just kind of had different looking robots. I don't know where this one is going. Let's open one of them up, see how they work, and then we'll test them and see how fun they are. As far as the robots go, I think it's some of the coolest looking robots. I mean, the old ones that I have, they're kind of dumb looking. I like the mech looking ones that I did and aged. Let's see what's going on here. A little moving back and forth makes those go up and down. On the other ones there's a little button that you try to hit. Well, I'm really curious on what these do. So yeah there's a forward, no reverse. There's a forward, right and left and punch. Oh, and it's infrared too. Uh, the other ones I have are infrared too and I hate those. Why can't they make it radio frequencies? Radio controlled. I wonder where the thing is. Is it up there? That didn't look like it. Alright. Three double A's. And what about these guys? Two triple A's. Three doubles and two triples. Sounds like a baseball game. Now as for the robot, it seems like it does the same thing no matter what button I push, basically. I'll show you what I mean. But if I push forward, <laughs> That's forward. Here's right. That's right. Here's left. Here's punch right. Here's punch left. And then if you punch both of them, it's the combo. So it seems like it's just doing something like one thing and it can kind of do it left and right or both and it kind of goes straight but just going forward it's just punching and then the punches is just like more intermittent I don't know about that on the older ones like this one I, and by the way I aged it, it like that it doesn't come like this but anyway this one had the punch and the hook where this one swings around and punches with the body swinging and then you're trying to hit this right here that's a switch and this one actually keeps up with the score you got four lights and the fifth one you're dead whereas this one doesn't do any of that it has kind of this just punching over and over and again and the loser of the fight is the one that falls over. There's nothing to hit. So you're trying to knock them over. There's no reverse. It's just wild punching. So I'm going to keep an open mind, but it kind of just seems like it's just going to be a until one falls over. No really like strategy or technique or anything is going to come into play but we'll see let's open this white one up take out the batteries i 
just as I suspected. There is only one motor in there. Look how basic this thing is. Oh, these had a certain way they went. That one fits in like that. I huh, wonder if these wheels do something. Are these special wheels? Yeah. They only fit in like that. Is there a reason for that? They don't look special. Well, there is a screw here. Let's open it up and see if there's anything special about them. Oh, there is a little ratcheting thing in here. So they are special wheels. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's gravity fed. That's why they have to go in the right way. I can't spin it this way, but I can spin it that way. What if I turn it upside down? Both directions pretty easily. This way, can't spin it that way. And so I'm assuming this is the uh, same thing. Yep, can't spin it this way. Can't spin that one this way. Can't spin this one. Turn it upside down. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Oh, check that out. Yeah, but I figured that had just one motor in there. Because it seemed like it did the same thing, no matter what button I pushed. Uh, there's more to it than I thought that was going to be on the other side. Does that motor slide out? It does. Yep, and we got ourselves an eight tooth. I got that glued in. Looks as if. I've seen these online and they're missing these things. So I have a feeling these come off some way. Yeah. Oh, there's some screws right here. Ah, there's little tabs up here. Yeah, this is where you need more than one, two hands. Okay, got that side. That's why I hate tabs for all this work. Okay. Here's what we get. Okay, I see gears, like a gearbox down here. Yeah, just doing that. These arms are just stuck here. With some springs. And a lot of lube. Seems like this. And we're kind of melted in down there. Get it out though. More tabs holding this in. Put that out. Oh, that is the sensor underneath there. Huh, I didn't even notice there an LED. And that's all that's in there. So what is this doing? There's also one here. And you see these little screws that, ah, oh, the head on those are weird. They're barely Phillips. Jeez, I gotta use this little thing. There it goes. Oh my 
goodness. Well, this better be interesting. Not really. Let's put the motor back in there. Let's see what it does. Yep, so the motor's turning here. I don't get it. Okay then, so that's it. That eight tooth turns this one. That one turns this one. And that one turns that one. Which ends up turning this thing. And you can see it goes all the way around. So back and forth is not done mechanically. It's done electrically. Well, there's some pretty hefty gears in there. So in 2064, something like that, somewhere around there probably have to change out that eight tooth gear but you probably won't have to worry about any of these inside there so to all future people I'll probably be dead that would make me 2064 it's so 40 years from now would make me 92 oh wait a minute look okay, here what we have that fits in there new no. Oh, there's the stop. Stop, bam, bam. So the back and forth is still done electrically. But there are stops. I didn't know the infrared could go through something so opaque like that. down in here. This went through like that. I'm going to go ahead and take this arm apart just to make sure there's no weights in there. I don't think there's any kind of weight in there. It doesn't feel like it. But let's make sure. No. No weights. So this was this arm, it connected to there, ring, okay, let's do it that way then, this one goes over here, this goes here, go on the other side of that, there, and this one up to there, so yeah. It just has the spinning. I forgot about this screw. That's the one that keeps it from doing that. Back. And then there's this screw. Okay, I see what it's doing. If I just push forward, it's oscillating this motor. It's then it's doing it equally. If I push left or right, it does the left or right in a different. Same way. And then the punch. And then. And then both of them. And then the motor goes in. Let's put it underneath this. 
sides in that way. Got to make sure you get put that part on. Now we got to make sure we get these right. So there's two prongs here, one prong here, two notches here, one notch here. So it goes like this. Now this can go back. PCB. Yeah, they've got it soldered to the battery terminals straight up onto them right there and there. So to take this off, I would have to do that. And I'm not going to because there's nothing on the other side I can see down in there. So this is it here. This is the electronics. Seems pretty well made. However, it does say 2019, not 2020. We got a pandemic still going on at this point. So what do I think of these sharper image robots? Well, in a way, I'm impressed that they get so much out of just one little motor inside. But then again, you, it doesn't offer much control either. It really ends up just like the robot's just coming together and you're just kind of hoping yours knocks the other one down. But then again, it's kind of fun and you can play one player. If you just don't touch the remote on the other one and start beating up on the other one, the other one fights back. I mean, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It is going up on my collection, up my other sharper image robots. But let's see what happens when you put humans behind it. Let's have some fights. Ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Take your damn toy and get it. <laughs> Alright, Matt, you're up with George. Uh, hey. Well, pew, pew, pew. Alright, Matt, you're going to pay back, buddy. He beats me every time. But not this time, buddy. <laughs> not this time. So if you like this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, of course, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people here. These are the patrons. These are the people bringing you this stuff. I bring you a video every Saturday, and these are the ones that allow me to do that. I couldn't do it without them. So if you'd like to help out, of course, there's links and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's the sharper image, the latest ones, I guess. So... That was Randy Robot Garage. All right, Matt, you ready to go down? Yep. Go. Uh -huh. and go. <laughs> I'm after Matt and Hal. So there you go. Oops. Me, you it get almost you. seems like no prisoners. <laughs> you can't. You, you can't right. be like punching the there buttons like crazy. No. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Oh!